Some time ago, I reviewed the Dell XPS 13 2016 edition, the one with the Skylake CPU. It is a great laptop with a great screen, and talking about the screen, it's a beautiful high DPI screen, and I find that Linux handles it really well for the most part. But there's a little problem with high DPI displays when you're working with a secondary display. If you want to plug a low DPI monitor to a high DPI laptop such as the Dell XPS 13, on Linux you have some scaling problems. What I mean is that on the low DPI screen everything is scaled as if it was an extension of the high DPI one. This means that the secondary display you're using is practically useless, since the scaling makes everything look so big that you cannot use anything effectively. Today I want to show you this problem and I want to give you a solution for it. So with no further ado guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, sorry if my setup right now is a big mess, but I had no better way to show you uh, other than this. So um, right here I have my Dell XPS 13, the one with the high DPI screen. And make sure to watch the full Linux review on my channel a card will pop out in the top section of this video. So just go check it out first. I'll be waiting. All right, now that you're back, um, here is a little adapter I bought on Amazon. It's called LoomSync, and it's basically a USB Type-C to uh, HDMI and USB 3.0 and uh, it also has another USB Type-C plug for charging in case your laptop doesn't have a dedicated charging port like for example the uh, new MacBook or the Chromebook Pixel if you want to charge that while using uh, this little adapter you can do it but this is not the case. So we have this adapter here and this monitor over here which is a uh, it's just a Samsung 1080p monitor, nothing fancy, it's just uh, my secondary monitor that I use every day. And it's gonna be a great example for this video, since it's something like 23 or 22 inches, and it's not high DPI, it's just 1080p, so it's pretty great for this use case, for this example. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, just plug this adapter in here, so the HDMI goes into the, the adapter and then the adapter goes into the PC. There we go. Something shouldn't happen any second now. And nothing is happening, of course. So let me just check the settings real quick. There we have it. So here is the secondary monitor and here is the primary one. So um, as you see the Cursor itself is pretty big and I'm not sure what you can see from here, but uh, let me try to open a gedit window real quick and move it to the secondary monitor. So you see how small the gedit window is in the integrated high DPI monitor. Let me drag it here. Boom, it's huge. It doesn't even fit the entire screen. And this is particularly stupid because uh, if we want to use the secondary monitor, it's because we need more uh, real estate for productivity and this really gets in the way. But there is a solution. Uh, now GNOME doesn't know the difference between the integrated display and the external displays. It just knows that it has to scale the interface by two times to allow for using a high density display such as the integrated one. So all you want to do to fix this problem is run a small command that I found on the ArchWiki. So I will leave the link to the ArchWiki page down in the description since it's very useful and it saved my day for using secondary low EPI displays with this laptop. So uh, all you wanna do is run this little command that I saved in a script and it's, uh, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. All right, so the command is this one, xrender dash dash output edp1 dash dash auto dash dash output dp1 dash dash auto dash dash panning and the resolution of the uh, internal display plus the external display plus the horizontal spacing from the uh, internal display plus zero because we have no vertical spacing dash dash scale two by two dash dash write off edp1 so we just ran this command here so uh, x render 
xmon. This is how I saved it. And boom, everything is working fine now. Let me uh, show you real quick. There we have it. So now the gedit window looks fine. Uh, IrisNap works perfectly. And the internal monitor is still scaled, of course. So as you see, everything is now working perfectly. The secondary display is working fine and the resolution is right with no scaling and the left display is completely the same, nothing changed. And now we have the possibility to um, use both the internal display and the external display at the same time if we want to improve our productivity when we are on the go. Now, this was a pretty interesting find uh, in my Linux experience since um, high DPI laptops are becoming more and more popular but there are not as many out there right now so um, just knowing that uh, with this little workaround everything works fine is a good start. I'm sure that uh, in the close future desktop environments like GNOME and KDE and every other desktop environment will improve high DPI support, especially for secondary displays. But for now, this is what we have, a small hack using x -Render. Um I'm sure it will work for most of you. It's not a big problem after all. You just have to run one command after plugging in the external monitor. Now, one more thing before wrapping this up. Uh, when you unplug the uh, secondary monitor, everything should get back to normal but once you plug it in back again uh things can get quite weird i mean the gnome session could crash or uh the secondary display could look weird and overall it's not something you should do what i suggest you to do if you have to plug in replug in and plug and replug um the external display is log out before you replug the secondary display again so guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.